Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to Shenanigans. So, the party makes their way back into Bergshire with no more encounters along the way. Uh, you arrive back in Bergshire, back to Shenanigans with the wagon and the donkey and all the barrels of ale. Uh, Desmond sees you guys coming from his little window next to the bar and greets you outside with a big broad smile. Ah, you guys did it! Yeah, yeah we, we got beer. News. Yeah! Bad news. Well, Bad give me the good news first. Is this good beer? News, we have the beer. Yes! Bad news. The bad news is Red that Sparky and Max, oh. they kind of got wrecked. Who's um, Max? Maximilian. Oh, okay, cool. Well, he, he doesn't care about that. I was talking about the bad news for him, is that the uh, Draft Prunk Brewery is no more. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Wait, then how'd you get the beer? Uh, the assistant, uh, Sierra Nevada, she passed away, apparently. Oh, you know. Um, yeah. Sad, sad day. Yeah, her assistant uh, changed the name of the brewery and is running things now. Uh, Ale Mint was his yeah. name. Yeah. I seem to recall some assistant of hers named Mr. Mint. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous yeah. name. He should stick yeah. to making mm -hmm. mojitos. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the Red Ale Brewery Incorporated now. Yeah. Anyway, we got your beer. Yeah, we got your beer, though. No, no, it's the Red Ale Trading Incorporation. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, same thing. Yeah. Close yeah. enough. It's a worse name, regardless. But we still got the beer. But yep. we got the beer! We got, got the beer. beer! Bring it on and, in, boys! And also, um, the 300 gold we uh, agreed upon. Yes. Once you bring that beer safely inside and I test it and make sure it's real beer, you'll get 300 gold coins divided between the five of you. All right. So, okay. got like beer. Yeah. Sorry, I was over and, at a different bar. My, mm, the personal bar. At my and house. I like, I'm assuming that do the door is at least partially open. Mm -hmm. no, the door's totally open, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, I can just like give it a good little, make a nice loud sound with it with my foot, walk in. And just yell, it's beer time! Or, There's no, no, a, no. a huge round of applause no, no, no. and shouts no, no, that no, go Neil, up. No. I, I want to change that. It's beer 30! <laughs> There's a less loud yell and fainter cheers that go up. People are less impressed beer with the beer 30. What time is it? It's beer 30. And then I just, like, clunk them down on the bar. All right. Desmond goes to tap the first one and immediately gives it a taste, nods approvingly, and as you bring in the rest of the casks, uh, he distributes to you 300 gold coins. 60 each? Uh, yes, that's exactly it. Each of you please take 60 gold pieces. Nice. And uh, as an additional appreciation for your tasks, Desmond agrees to uh, cover your nights, uh, the, tonight's worth of drinking for the five of you. And eating. Uh, he he yeah. has Borscht bring out some pizzas with a new special pizza making technique that Glib Glob invented. Okay. Uh, Let's uh, grub this up. See if it tastes delicious. Oh yeah. I Let's think it tastes grub pretty skill. damn delicious. Oh, yeah. grub, nice, grub skill. Sergeant, nice. You really enjoy I the special do not have pizza. The pizza that he I oh, missed the pizza. That's right. <laughs> I missed the pizza and drank more beer. I, mm, I think that's. I have. I have I a stick to the wings. wonderful. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> We're all loving oh, these pizza, pizza, except for the rock. Yeah. Yes, so the, until you find out what's inside it. The, the Rock doesn't get free pizza, though, so that's why he's not enjoying well, it. Well, I think the pizza was so good that the three of you ate it before the Rock could get any, and he's left wanting <laughs> some, but he was, like, carrying the beer in, and by the time yeah, he comes I, for the pizza, you know, it's I, gone. I was actually doing the work. Mm -hmm. I carried um. one barrel in, which is the same <laughs> size as me, the but I got it. Lib Glob's special pizza has... Um, some pepperoni and some cheese baked into the crust. So, like, the back side of the crust has its own, like, oh, filling. No. It's like a quesadilla with pizza on the flat part. It's amazing. 
And you're sure that's the only thing he had? You monster. That's the only thing that they tell you about it. God knows what the pepperoni is made from, but it tastes pretty good for the three of they, you to they, eat it. This rataroni is delicious. <laughs> Neil, Neil, I have See? a, uh, I've got a story for you. Oh yeah, a pizza story. I was so looking forward to getting a stuffed crust pizza this weekend, and then I, when I looked it up, the do- uh, the pizza hut that I was going to go to is permanently closed. Oh, it, it's it, it's so sad. Oh, go to the next one. It's probably only like ten to twelve miles away. Uh, and it's actually no, it depends this depends on how name. populated an area you're in. They, yeah, no, it's like a half an hour away. <laughs> Sounds about right for the next yeah. closest one. So. Uh, anyway. So you guys snack on the pizza. Some of you snack on the pizza and the beer. And the festivities at Shenanigans rise to their usual levels. Does, uh, does Glib Bob come out to you know take praise for his pizza or anything? Or? Uh, you do see him walking by, carrying dishes, uh, and eyeing the pizza that you guys are eating from the, from his little side. So you... Love, this pizza is fantastic. You like? Like very much. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like very much indeed. He dropped. Hey everybody, welcome back to Shenanigan. Sorry about that. We had a, a little technical error there. Uh, the internet is getting some hiccups. Apparently, hopefully, it'll last throughout the rest of this. Um, we left off with. Glib Glob coming over and hugging your legs as a result of you praising his pizza. Hmm. So, uh, what's the special ingredients there, Glib Glob? It tasted so good. Dough. Is it DDoS dough? He cocks his head to the side. DDoS? It's a special kind of dough that causes problems. No, no, no. Good dough. Lots of good dough. Mmm. That sounds worth waiting for. Mm. Waiting for good dough. (laughs) Yeah, something like that. Mm. Blub, blub, no, understand, but okay. Don't, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, Yes. Be fascinated at all before I can get any. It occurs to me, Glib Glob, that here you are employed, but unappreciated, looked down upon, given menial tasks, and sent to sleep in the stables. Task very nice, not mean no bad at all. Hmm. It stable occurs- warm, stable smell good. Glib Glob likes sleeping in stable. It occurs to me that a cobalt of your talents might be useful acting as a tiny, oppressed, poorly treated foil to a dark lord, a sort of salacious crumb cowering at the foot of a throne. I don't know most of those words. (laughs) Hmm. Soon I I shall have a task for you to be my salacious crumb. Oh, salacious. You hear Borscht calling from the kitchen. Glibglob, where are those pots? And Glibglob hops up and runs off to the kitchen, semi-terrified. Yes, um, this is all coming together. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you guys look make... at look at how he runs for board. He is indeed something like that. Basil, a minion whose obedience is exceeded only by his expendability. <laughs> so, uh, you guys don't tell Desmond about the ghost, right? Nope. Nope. No, I guess we're just sitting at the bar waiting for something to happen and then yeah. hopefully there will be a new task for us. Mm-hmm. Or nothing happens and we just got our gold for no additional work. Uh, yeah. Well, indeed, 
that night, as the sun goes down and the bar is hopping, uh, the ghost appears out of the barrels. I will try my best to act really surprised. I I, think I'm just going to ignore it and keep drinking. Parf, she appears and floats over the bar. Desmond gives a shout and draws his sword immediately. Uh, some of the other patrons in the bar draw swords and get spells ready on the tip of their lip when the ghost speaks out, Desmond! Desmond! It is I, Miss Sierra. Desmond cocks his head to the side and he goes, Oh! Hey! How's it going? <laughs> Desmond, my apprentice murdered me, took over my establishment, and your minions would not see him to justice. Ratchets his chin and goes, well, hmm, and looks around for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> will the five of you mind coming over here, please? Alright. Yeah! Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> You knew about this? No. Uh, no, I, I don't know much about ghosts or whatever this thing is. Me neither. This could be Max again, for all I know. What? I am a dwarf, so you know, we we don't take kindly to this magic stuff. It, like, remember you never know. This might be just an illusion. You never know. These Desmond. men are lying to you, Desmond. They knew about me from the very first night. I told them of my plight and warned them I would haunt your bar for all time if you did not bring vengeance to my slayer. Desmond crosses his arms and looks at you. What not were you thinking? Contact. We were thinking that you paid us to transport this beer here safely, and so we did. And we did not even pay, we did not even charge extra for transporting the ghost. Or that you could sell this beer as a great novelty as the Pale Vale Ale. Hey, I like that. The Pale Ale Vale? <laughs> yeah. Like it is one of those like two or three things. You can charge double the price. It's beer with a content. beer with spirit. Yeah. Spirit spirit. Ooh, spirited it's, beer. It's distilled spirits, huh? Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> distilled spirits. The and ghost uh, goes, what? No! No! You must get revenge! You must kill him! He slew me! It's wrong! Kill him, a, Desmond! Well, I mean, or we could just get him killed, like... I mean, you can inform the authorities, like, get a letter from no, the No, 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 hold on, hold on, I got this. Alright, is there a cleric here that can turn undead? Please. I this is am a cleric. Yes. Turn undead. The I thought ghost. she was a friend of yours. He shrugs. I don't know. She's kind of being a bitch. And she's dead. <laughs> so. She, but no! No! I don't want to. I don't, I don't know what being turned is, but I don't like the sound of that one bit. No! I'll haunt you! It's time to show your powers, Vera Xerix. Wait, wait. Or did... Yes. Wait. No, don't, don't do it. Go, go kill the person that killed that killed me. That, that's easier than turning me. Well, what's in it for us? You Nothing won't was done be to haunted. Us. I will curse you to all time if you do not slay him. You'll curse him. Yes. What's, what would be involved right. in that? I don't really see a downside to being haunted. <laughs> and didn't you say like you were attached to the beer or something? So if we drink it all, does that mean you go away? The mysteries of life and death are beyond your comprehension, mere that mortals. May, that may be, but aren't they also beyond yours? You have no way of proving that. <laughs> yeah, but you have no way of proving me wrong. And the worst we get out of it is a massive uh, migraine that we just kind of wait off. Desmond, I don't think you want to turn this creature. If you are going to advertise... The beer is haunted. 
wouldn't it no. be better for her to continually appear, thus proving your claim? Desmond nods. Also, it wouldn't be a much of a horror if people knew what they were coming for, you know? Oh, they will be expecting a ghost it's to a be novelty here. Thing. They can, you can even charge it at the door to see a real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps we could rig together some sort of sham goggles. We'll call them beer goggles and charge people and tell them you need these in order to see the ghost. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> and they have to pay for them as they enter. That seems dishonest. I'm not in the favor. I'm not in the position of lying to people. If I wanted to lie to people, I would just, you know, take their money and tell them I was going to solve their problems and then not do it. And then when they complained about it, I'd just kill them. Or I'd just go kill people for money. It's not in the matter of, of lying or cheating. Um, sure. But I, I Those like are the... both excellent possibilities. Um, I, I like your idea, Rock. Here. He pulls out 50 gold from his pocket. Take take a tip. Thank you, good sir. Well then, uh, everybody, apparently, what, what'd you call it? The Pale Veil Ale. Apparently, we've got a PVA here for all of you that would like to try it. Uh, it costs two silver per cup, per pint. Uh, and immediately, a line forms. And uh, Desmond starts raking in the dough while the spirit yells and wails and rages in the background. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, now is the time to introduce the new NPC to shenanigans, Sierra Nevada, yes. the Woo! ghost that haunts yeah. the bar. Hey. <laughs> yes. And uh, I also think we are at the end of our session today. Uh, some interesting choices made. Ended a little early, but that is fine and dandy. So let's... Uh, let's and we don't, we don't have to RP it, but I do want to tithe my ivory horn to the dragon. Done. The dragon appreciates your tithing to it. Uh, so, let's see. There was the uh, barley beast that you fought. That the uh, rock wrecked. Yes. He was a, a monster, and then he got made even more dangerous when he was set on fire with an entangle spell around him, <laughs> even if it did shorten his lifespan. Uh, there was the wino that you killed. That the rock wrecked. Um, you successfully brought the ale back, and uh, you figured out a new way to market the cursed ale. So I was doing 500 for the barley beast, 400 for the wino, 500 for the main quest and an extra 250 for the creative problem solving of the ghost rather than going and killing the uh, zeroth level assistant you found a much better solution so i like that job, um, and also... we even enhanced shenanigans yeah, with its yeah. New we enhanced shenanigans we made desmond more money which lizzie's probably gonna like that Yep, let's um, add 750 for role-playing and divide it between five people. Everyone brings home 480 experience for the day. Uh, okay. You have your prime requisites. Uh, that's another 10%, bringing you to 528. You said 470? Uh, I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> yeah, 480. 480. 480. 480. Oh, 480. Does anybody level? Nope. nope. Uh, definitely. They're fifth level. In 20 episodes like that, they should eventually reach 6th level. Are you all 5th level except for Vizizirix? I'm 2nd level. Okay. I just yeah, leveled no, last time this character played. So It's Bryce. only the Rock and Maximilian. Yeah, yeah. I, st we st I still need like about over 18,000. <laughs> this is the real reason no one's ever gotten past 5th level, is it takes all the experience from getting to 5th level don't, to get to 6th. And there's don't a high worry, chance guys. to die in every episode. Don't worry, Pretty guys. Low. In 3,401 <laughs> XP, I will make that magical level 6. Mm. Yeah. Will you? Shenanigans has been pretty low mortality as of late, actually. It's been really low mortality. Maybe next week we'll have to do something about that. Uh -oh. Maybe. I mean, you Better always just kill characters. Sparky. <laughs> well, um, why don't we wrap our show up for the day? Anyone have anything that the world needs to know about before we call it a night? Uh, yeah. Uh, make sure, kids, before you go and buy batteries for your smoke detector, they're the right type. 
because in my place, all three smoke detectors have different types of batteries. And when I went to go get some nine volts from one of them, I was like, oh yeah, every smoke detector I've seen runs off nine volts. And then another one started chirping and it ran on double A's. I almost threw through the wall. Other big tip, yeah, when infuriated at the batteries being the wrong size for your smoke detector, don't set batteries on fire in anger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's like 9 p.m. when I found that out. I was like, I'm not going back to the store. Tried to sleep through it. And it's after several time. hours of not sleeping and it being 2.40, I gave up and went to the gas station and bought some batteries. I slept awful and fell asleep at work. It's fun. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So get the right, check your batteries, kids. Yeah, you want your fire alarms to be working. They're kind of, sort of important. Yeah, a little bit. Especially if you have, you know, mages around casting burning hands and setting fire. Yeah. Yeah, that one's one's pretty important. All right, then. Uh, That's it for shenanigans this week. We will see you next week. I'm pretty sure we're going to see you next week, right? Nothing going on next. Let me double check. Yes, we will see you next week on the 1st of right. July for our next episode of Shenanigans. Um, but then we're going to have two weeks where we are... No, one week where we're off in July. July 15th, we're not going to have a Shenanigans episode. Um, oh. But that's it. So we should still get in four episodes in July. So we will see you next week for more shenanigans. And that's it, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Goodbye.